Hello everyone, welcome to a fun new idea I'm gonna try. We're gonna see how fast we can make it to the bottom of the mines in game time. Note, that's not real time, that is game time. So the earlier, the sooner the date I can hit the bottom of the mines, the better I'm doing. First thing I'm gonna do is check the luck. The spirits are somewhat annoyed. Okay, that's not a great start. Um, Thinking there's many ways to do this, basically what I need at first is gonna be energy because in the early days, I'm gonna run out of energy long before I'm gonna run out of time. And one thing we can actually do, if I'm smart about this, is get rid of some of the extra stuff we don't need to carry. It won't let me drop that stuff. Okay, not a big deal. Let's go get some energy for now. Let's go get all the forageables we can find. And then we're going to head to the mine, start working our way down. This is going to be a little bit of trial and error. I was kind of sitting around today thinking about the best way to do this once I got the idea to do it. Actually, I've got a bit of an idea. Is this going to work? This might not work. Anyways, we're going to go touch all the garbage cans, check all the forageables that will give us energy. Obviously, the daffodil won't, but that's beside the point right now. I'm going to have to get some wood to make a chest to store some of this stuff, and that might go outside the mines. Okay, let's start this way. We're going to go into the woods, do a little foraging loop, work back up to the mines. We want to hit probably 15 floors today. 20 would be better, 15 would be okay. Energy is going to be what we need, and that bad luck not going to help us out very much. There is going to be some luck involved in something like this, but we'll make it work. Cody Dale, welcome. J-Mac is here too. Kira, as always. So, like I was saying, forageables first, because energy is more limiting than time right now. And this is off to a very bad start. Valentine Gaming, $20. How about we start the stream off the right way? Absolutely right, Valentine Gaming. Thank you very much for your donation. Everyone show Valentine some love in the chat for their large $20 donation. We're off to a very good start. And I'm a little disheartened by the lack oh, of forageables. Yeah. I got one leak. If I could find one more of those, I would actually be pretty happy. I don't think that's going to happen, though. That's okay. I think I still have an idea that's going to be a little bit out of the ordinary for how we can do this. Because there definitely are different ways you can approach this, different strategies you can take. But generally, the overall thing that should be in common with everyone is your energy is limited more so than your time right now. I'm going to have to upgrade my pick probably at some point. You can get to the bottom of the mines, but it gets really inefficient after a while energy-wise. Alright, I'm actually going to swing through my farm real quick. And this isn't maybe the best way to do this, but I still think I'll be okay. Now, let's get through this nice and quickly. Uh, that's not nice and quickly. Uh, okay, we're just going to have to smash a few rocks along the way. That's all right. Okay, let's just keep working, 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 going up. And once I hit the proper floor in the mines today, once I hit that fifth floor and then I can't go any deeper because I'll run out of time, then I'll come back and chop some wood. I'll do it that way. Whoops. Okay. So far, things aren't going super great, but that's okay. You'll see my overall strategy. You can't go to the mines for a couple days. Oh, that's right. It doesn't even open till the 5th. I forgot about that. Okay, so we're going to do the parsnip sound because that's going to be a different thing altogether. Yeah, I forgot you can't do the mines right away. That's annoying. Well, that's okay. Let me show you what I my grand plan for this is. Is it just me or the mines really hard in the beginning? Uh, They can be. Depends. Can't go to the mines on day one. Yep. Just remember, that's okay. Strategy still stays the same. Luna Garcia, $5. Thank you very much. Hi, DF, in class, and everyone liked the stream. Everyone liked the stream. Thank you, Luna, $5. All right. So basically, I need farming skill level two. So I actually should plant these then. I was going to sell those initially. We'll sell that, though. That's easy enough. This is going to stay for forageables. We'll collect some wood. Or f farming level one, maybe. So maybe we'll actually just gather another... Hmm curious now how I want to do this because I can use a bunch of these for both farming skill and items in the mines because they'll be done by the time the mines are ready to go. I think it'd be faster if you don't upgrade your pick. That's a debate I'm having with myself internally right now. Kind of hoping for some treasure out of these things. Dancing taco on the screen for you guys. Okay, let's loop around the museum. Uh, let's check the beach then because some of these monetary items will be of value for me. Speedrunners don't upgrade pickaxe. Yeah, I've never actually really done this. I saw someone doing this run way back when, many, probably a few years ago. Haven't really heard much about it. Then someone by the name of RPG Addict apparently was doing it today. And then uh, someone brought it to my attention. They're like, you should try this. I was like, you know what? I should try this. 
Okay, not a lot of forgeables here at the beach. This bad luck day is not a good day to start. If you get good luck days, the mining experience will be a lot quicker. More garbage cans. Back to Pierre's. We'll go plant this stuff. He should be ready for the mines. The more we can have ready for the mines on the first day, the better off we'll be. It goes by game date, not real, real time. That would be a different run altogether. I also did update the music playlist. Uh, so we'll get some mining music in there because it just wouldn't be the mines without the music. I'm glad live streams get posted in YouTube because just or get posted in Discord because YouTube doesn't always send out notifications. Well, no, they don't. And might as well, might as well. Okay, we're going to go gather some wood, start upgrading our farming skill. Mm, you know what? While we're at it, let's forge around to the north. Might as well get all the forgeables we can right now. Sleep through five days? That would put us at a disadvantage. We're in real time. I might sleep through a few, but I've got an idea. I really think I've got a way I could do this quick. DF means the favorite YouTuber of everyone. Hmm, interesting. I like these runs because there's so many different ways to do it and I'm constantly turning over the strategy in my head thinking, how could I do this better? How could I do this more efficiently? And it won't be perfect on a run like this because I'm just kind of winging it right now. But slowly but surely it'll come together and I'm really thinking good. I got some good ideas. Amber Rose donated $5. Thank you very much, Amber Rose via Streamlabs. Thank you very much, Amber Rose. I thought about putting the donation scroller back on top of the screen for this one, but I didn't. Anyways, let's plant these 40 parsnips. That should take up some energy in itself. And if you're going to do this, probably better off going on the forest farm. That way you can find forgeables on the farm. Okay, that was weird. Stardew Valley legged. It is pretty hard to run. The uh, requirements for running a game like this are massive, so of course it would lag my computer. The 1080 just can't handle it. Uh, smack that, smack that, smack that. All right, let's uh, let's hoe up a storm here. We're gonna get these down first. How many do I have? 40. So we'll do four by ten. That's four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then complete the square. So these will be both farming experience and they'll be done by the time the mines are ready to go, more or less. And these will give me huge boost to energy and even money if I want. But generally, I don't think I'm going to trade these out for the monetary value. But I'll show you a little strategy involved with that later on. Oh, I have 41. Weird. What exactly transpired there? I don't know. Oh, I bought the one extra afterwards, I remember. Don't know why I didn't stack though. Okay. Donations. Give me a sec. There's three at once. Uh... Or Joan Devon. Sorry about the mispronunciation again. Remember how to say my name, DF? Sorry, I do forget. I remember you told me, but I forgot. But thank you for your $5 donation, Devon. Maggie Smith, $2. We need more likes. Maggie Smith, we are absolutely right. Thank you for your $2 reduce. And Trash Spice, $20. Will you marry me? Oh, you are my sponsor, yeah. so yes, I will. Thank you, Trash Spice. Uh, thank you for all the donations. But let's uh, show Trash Spice some love in the chat for the $20 donation. Thank you very much. Always appreciate the donations. Okay, now that I got those out of the way nice and quick, let's take care of this mess and then move on with part two of the strategy. So very generous already, everyone. Thank you very, very much. Oh, and I have two leftover parsnips. My brain isn't working, apparently. I don't know why, why it went like that, but it did. We also don't have the spa right now, so I cannot uh, get my energy back that way. But not to worry. There's always a method to my madness. Got to very efficiently use energy right now. Then there's other things too, like the salmon berries will be ready uh, in the 15th of spring. I might spend a few days gathering those because those are just ridiculous energy. Too much to even comprehend. Uh, okay. And then one more up here. Don't want to miss that. Calamitas. Uh, Calamitas. I do know how to pronounce that. Now let's hear him say my name wrong. Yeah, I used to say Calamitas, but I think it's just Calamitas. Calamitas? Oh, Calamitas, maybe. That sounds more right. I remember you sh showed me or showed someone in Discord. Okay, if 
focus. Now all that's done, we got a bit of energy. Let's get some wood for a chest because we need to put some of this stuff away. Again, the most efficient way to chop wood is to chop the tops off trees. All we need is 50 for a chest. That's not asking a lot. And there we go, bit of wood. A little bit more wood, 16 already. Even if we don't get all the wood today, not a big deal. We'll get the wood tomorrow. Sorry, Nakamura, 10 Canadian dollars. Thank you very much for $10, Sorry, Nakamura. How awesome has this Vancouver weather been? It's been phenomenal, phenomenal. Oh, uh, before the stream, actually, yeah. I went outside and just sat in the sun for about 40 minutes and just absorbed sunlight. It was, it was fantastic. I quite enjoy this weather. It was about 20 degrees Celsius here, for those of you wondering. That's a little over 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Something like that. I need 10 more. Can I get 10 more? Um, what's the best way to do this? I think at this point, I don't have enough energy to chop the top off a tree. I can cut little ones. Panic Tank, $2. Thank you very much, Panic Tank. A reminder that you're a nerd. Well, Panic Tank, here's a reminder that you're old. Enjoy. Thank you, Panic Tank. Okay, one more piece of wood for today. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it all right now. This is might seem extreme, but worth it. I only had one spring onion today anyway. What's that about? The game's transpiring against me. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, horseradish too. Uh, Alucard uh, through Streamlabs. Missed two spots due to stuff on the ground. Thank you very much, Alucard. Five dollars. Thank you. I'll try and roll those into everything going on. Okay, and Tuzoli, five dollars. Since it seems to be the thing today, can you say my name too, please? Uh, yes, I can, Tuzoli. Thank you. Generous as always. Uh, $5. Thank you very much. So many donations already. It's hard to keep up. Okay. There is chest. That is something you can make right away. I'm going to put everything into the chest right now. I don't really want to sell anything. Gypsy Rose donated $5. Uh, donation train, Choo Choo. Thank you very much, Gypsy Rose. Thank you very much. $5. Okay. That stuff's going in there. I'm actually going to sell the clam, keep the wood. Fiber's going in there. Uh, I don't need these things for now. Morel Rose Tan donated $2. Hello. Hello, Morel Rose Tan. Thank you again for another donation. Not going to do the mix seeds. Don't want to bother with those. Gather some stuff off the ground. Okay, one thing we are going to do is scythe up some stuff from everywhere. Especially around the trees because I'm going to implement field snacks in this run. So especially around this area... Because things like this right here are good for me. Once my... Oh, okay, maybe my forging tool already got upgraded. Okay, I'm not going to hammer any more of those. I'm going to leave them on the ground. They won't go anywhere. But for now, I'm going to scythe up all the free space I can. And uh, that way these trees produce as much of the little seeds as possible. Because those can turn into field snacks real easy. And is it forging that needs to be upgraded or farming to get field snacks? I can never remember. I think it's actually forging now that I think back, but cutting wood upgrades forging skill. So let's just move all the weeds we can out of the way, away from the trees for now. That way it won't get in the way, because if there's no room for trees, then there's no room for the seeds. And this is making good use of my time. As exciting as it is. I don't know why my game keeps stuttering like that. After this wonderful winter music, we should get into some of the uh, mining music. I don't know if I put that playlist on randomized. I might change that. Oh, my chat got slowed down again. Everything's misbehaving today. Stream behave. Okay, let's get rid of these. Yeah, it's doing a weird stutter thing today. I don't know what's with that. OBS is not being nice to me lately. Fighting it tooth and nail for everything I do, it seems like. I could switch to the other OBS, Streamlabs OBS, to make the whole thing a little more nicer. Okay, that cleared out all down there. I think there's a lot of maple and oak trees. There's a lot of pine trees over here, and they don't tend to have a lot of grass around them anyway, so... I just want to stop this grass from multiplying, because once the grass gets big, it doesn't stop. And really chokes out the trees. Nice darkness. I think I might have to take a sec to change my music playlist to random too, because I think they're actually going in order of seasons, and I want them random. Otherwise, we're just going to get all the mining stuff all at once. And we're not even mining yet. That just wouldn't make sense. 11 p.m. Good, good, good. Uh, let's give these or pine trees just a little more room to breathe. 
It's hard to see though, isn't it? I don't have a glow ring or anything. That's another thing. Hopefully I get lucky in the mines and find a better sword right away. Preferably the forest sword or that iron sword I found before on my lucky run. Alright, alright, alright. Not bad, not bad. 11.30, we'll keep going. Did it just do something? Are you talking about the game? It very well might have. It's kind of stuttering. So how's everyone's Monday doing? Pretty good? Mine's good. Thanks for asking, everyone. I know a few people did at least. Hopefully this little stream will make the Monday just a little bit better. Okay, that's going to be it for weeds and fiber or whatever for now. Good enough. The tree should give me some of their stuff. And everything going into the bin. Let's keep the tools organized. And okay. Let's call it a day at that point. See what we can do after today. Forging level 50. Oh, my forging skill didn't level up. Whoops. That's okay. Not a big deal. There just wasn't a lot of... Uh, Wasn't a lot of forgeables around for me to even pick up. How's my luck today? Uh, weather report. is rain all day tomorrow. I wanted luck, actually. It always rains on the third of spring. Fun fact. The spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed. Somewhat mildly perturbed. It should just be mildly perturbed. Not somewhat. Oh, watering can. All right, and today, now that it's light out, we're going to go gather some field snack stuff. Uh, a crow already got one of my things, apparently, despite the fact that I did not see it. Or I just forgot to plant that one. I'm not really sure. Either are plausible. I've had a lot of caffeine, so yeah. The grass growing next to crops is making me nervous. This grass doesn't actually grow into your crops. It's only the usual weeds that do. The rest of it is no problem. Turn on the fireplace and sleep comfy. Yeah, I never really do that. I should do that more often. Where are all your mods, DF? Oh, you don't need mods for a run like this. It defeats the whole purpose. This is a challenge. And I like a challenge. Okay, I'll go to the spring onions and that's it today. Because the forgeables, if they don't sprout a whole bunch at the beginning of the week, then there's not really a high chance of more spawning. So I'm not really going to worry about the rest of them too much. And if they do spawn, they'll still be there a few days later. Let's just, let's just focus on what we can focus on right now. Which is going to be a whole lot of weed clearing. I'll make my way down to the spring onions too. But I want to clear out a lot of these. These are a lot of good just oak and maple trees. Maple tree? Oak tree. Big leaves are the maple trees. Just like in real life. Big old maple leaves. I have to know all sorts of stuff about that because I am Canadian after all. Kayla Perry noticed. Hello. Welcome. Uh, sorry, Nakamura. I believe I'm out of strawberry. Uh, yeah, it's in the mail. Kelly Rose, $5. Thank you very much, Kelly Rose. Very generous. So many donations so early. Really making my day. And Tanai just donated $4.11. Good morning from Thailand, DF. Well, hello, Thailand. Thank you very much. I bet it's beautiful there right now. I gotta go see that one day. I've heard nothing but good things. Moving on along, Kelly Rose donated $5 to Super Chat. Okay, that's just that showing up again. My mistake. Oh, also, I'm going to turn the music on to a random. How do I do that? Turn shuffle off. Oh, it is shuffling. Okay, never mind. I Yeah, of course, this is a summer song. I knew that. Now, let's make a bit of a... I guess I have a bit of a route. Good enough. See, I've wasted very little energy already today. Uh, also, I forgot to turn this back on, and we're back. Okay. Spring onions. Spring onions are one thing that's worth checking for every day. Potentially also garbage cans. Here's actually a horseradish. I'll get that on the way out. And the beach, because that's just monetary value. Is there a timer? There's not a timer. This is in-game time that I'm going by, which is a bit of an odd way of doing it, but that's what people have been going by so far, so that's what I'm going to emulate imitate lasagna is spaghetti in a cake that's kind of a good way of looking at it actually it's like a spaghetti cake that actually sounds really good right now so i want to bring me some lasagna i will love you forever i started 20 minutes ago for those of you wondering and asking okay give me this 
Marnie. Say hi to the good mayor for me, would you? Brian Doherty is here. Hello, Brian. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I forgot to check those garbage cans, didn't I? Whatever. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go back, do some tree clearing. Uh, this is the Willy cutscene that is kind of irrelevant. Fishing wouldn't be a bad source of energy. I'm spending energy to make it. I just don't really feel like fishing right now. Clam. And muscle. Uh, let's sell these direct. Direct to Willy. Well, wow, that 20 minutes are really fast. It always does in the first day. So busy. So much to do. Okay, you take these. Easy money. Fishing rods is going to go elsewhere. Uh, no, we don't need this stuff. Okay, let's go garbage cans. Back to the farm to do some tree maintenance. Arboring. Okay, starting with his garbage. He's going to be happy about this. Nope, that was a waste. He yelled at me for nothing. Honestly, a speedrun would be faster if we didn't keep donating and distracting him. That's true, but it's all part of the challenge. Really, nothing in the garbage can still. Weak. Super weak. I'm not going to go check the garbage cans way down over there, because the garbage cans aren't too lucky today. What do we got? Nothing. Anything here that I can do real quick? Largemouth bass. Not going to happen. That's okay. We're getting. Fishing is good for food, though. Can you eat fish? You can. You can. I think that field stacks right now are going to be a better use of energy. Like, they, they take very little energy to get you a lot of energy back. What's this? Present? Nope. Pre pre present? Nope. Crap in bin. Alright, let's go eyeball some trees, see what we can get. We can also shake the trees. People kept pointing out for like... I think it's a 5% chance, so 1 in 20 trees that you shake is going to give you one of those things. And that takes no energy, I believe. Would I be correct in that assumption? Uh, let's try a fresh tree. 172 energy, 172 energy. Okay, so you can do it that way. That works, that works. Ah, uh, there's another one of those. Is it a pick you're supposed to use for those? Why why am I not getting anything from those? Those are supposed to be something instantly. Let's try the pick. Little trial and error here. Why are those not giving me anything? That's weird. Suspicious. Because they're supposed to be giving you stuff. Except they're just smashing. I mean, I could chop the tops off trees still for the same effect, really. But it's so much more efficient to chop the things out of the ground. I just don't know why it's not giving me any. Could someone explain that to me, please? Is it a hoe you're supposed to use? I, I was doing it the other day with a pick and an axe for sure, though. I don't know what the difference is. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go get the hoe and I guess just try it. Just for the sake of something. We'll go shake some more trees, I guess, because why not? Nothing, nothing, nothing. And we're going to hoe one of the things out of the ground. Okay, here's one in the ground. Hoe time. No, nothing's doing it. Why are they just destroying? You have to be level one to get seeds. Oh, that might be it. Level one foraging. Okay, if that's the case, I got to chop more wood then. I got to chop the tops off trees to upgrade my foraging skill. That would make sense. Use hoe. Well, I did and it didn't work. Why is it so laggy when it's doing that? The game is not liking that very much, and I don't know why. Uh, okay, we're just going to chop the tops off trees for now. It doesn't matter. They still produce a little seeds. I've already determined that much. Your foraging leveled up. Yeah, it did. That might be it, too. So in saying that, this is still profitable to do this. Because I'm still making energy back by knocking these off. Because I can... Oh, they won't give me any though. As long as my... Yep. No, I get it. As long as your foraging skill is where it's at, it won't... Uh... If your foraging skill levels up, they stop producing these. So I got the few acorns and my foraging skill leveled up. Then I was boned. So let's go little, do a little bit of fishing in the ocean. 
no, sorry, the mountain lake. Because so, some of those fish are good energy. Fourth year Stardew Valley, only 85 in the mines. That's, uh... That's not all the way down yet. Getting there. Uh, any name suggestions? About to have my first kid. Uh, yeah, name it DF. That's a pretty good name. Best name ever. Hold on. No fire for Linus. You gotta earn that fire. Ooh, here we go. A little bit more foraging. Okay, we're just gonna fish in a lake for now because these are gonna be energy in the mines later on. Blah, blah, blah. And I think we're also going to have enough wood. We could put a chest by the mines and then we can store stuff on our way in and out. And hopefully we get a few largemouth bass because those are going to be huge energy and health. I don't think I've seen trees regrow from stumps. They do. I confirmed that. They will grow their tops again. Okay, I think this might be a smallmouth bass because it's slightly fighty. The autumn effect, I'll read that in just a sec. Because I'm having trouble with this little rascal. Come on, play nice. There we go. Nice and easy. Must have got tired. Come on, we can do it. I keep like, glancing over. Okay, oh, that was a largemouth. I actually caught one. Okay, the autumn effect. twenty dollar dues. Thanks for coming oh, back. Yeah. Thanks for coming back to a Stardew stream while I'm at work, DF. Oh well, here's to a coffee fund. A like on this stream. I'll come back for this tonight. Thank you very much for the autumn effect. Everyone show the autumn effect some love in the chat. For twenty dollar dues. Very generous. Australian dollars for those of you that don't get the joke. Orange one. Name the kid Orange One so you can remember my name. Orange one. Oh, I get it. Orange one Devin. Okay, Orange One Devon, thank you very much for ten dollars. Oh, very generous yeah. of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, get the fish. So this large wealth bass by itself is fifty three energy and twenty one health. Like that's basically a fifth of my health. Or energy rather, sorry. So you know if I catch five of those I can repeat my energy that much. Fishing is so tough. Level 1, it really is. I was actually kind of surprised I was able to get a largemouth bass. I know I didn't exactly make it look easy, but I caught it. I think this is another one. Maybe not. It might be a smallmouth that took off then slowed down. That's a bullhead. All fish are going to be pretty helpful. I'm basically going to run this out of energy. Maybe eat the green algae. Because I can trade that in for probably about two more fish, hopefully, and then I'll make energy off it. Can turn that into potentially 100 energy. That's just a chub. That's boring. And then I'm going to eat this. Get a few more casts in. Uh-oh. Bad. I wonder if I can land this cast still. Oh. Nope, I caught Sebastian, no? Not at all what I was looking for. Not at all what I was looking for. How many files do I have? I have a lot. I don't generally delete them. Once in a while I do, but generally I let them build up for a while. Ooh, not good, not good. Oh, you know, I can keep trading this out. Eat the seaweed, fish some more. Sebastian, don't ever tell anyone that I'm throwing stuff in the pond. Sebastian doesn't care. Priscilla S, we need more likes. Two dollars. Thank you, Priscilla S. Thank you. We need more likes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get a billion likes on his stream. Another bullhead. New record. That means basically nothing. I can take two more casts after this, and then I'm, I'm maybe going to eat the wild horseradish, because I feel like if those turn into two fish, that's just better energy. Basically guaranteed if I catch one fish. I'm going to have so much energy for the mines to start that it's going to be glorious. Another chub. One more cast. Starting to feel exhausted. So today I'll do fishing, tomorrow I'll do field snacks. And the fishing is basically paying for itself at this point. Because even if I catch algae, I'm effectively doubling the energy it took to take the cast.
Sebastian probably throws his cigarette butts in the pond. He probably does, actually. That's why he's there. Smoking away like a cool kid. If I'm really lucky, he'll light himself on fire. And then I'll block his path from the pond. Oh, don't exhaust yourself. Okay, I gotta remember to eat something after this cast. I'm gonna eat the horseradish. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm probably gonna get the bigger backpack before too long. Valentine Gaming. Again, $5. Thank you very much, Valentine Gaming. Keeping the love rolling. Thank you very much, Valentine Gaming. When are you continuing the coffee farm? I played with it a bit yesterday and I realized that it just, it's not going to work. I'm not going to hit a million gold before year one. I just kind of screwed up the logistics of it. I might continue it again, but for now, I don't really know. I honestly don't know at this point. Ooh, this feels like a fighty fish. Should I get that? I should. What is it? Diamonds? Treasure chest. That'd be cool. If I got a treasure chest right now... I would make this run look super easy. Coal. Don't even want that. Okay, so I'm full of fish. Ten. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and eat this. Let's be risky here and hopefully I can catch a few more good quality fish. Using the energy from that. What did that give me? 23 energy. I should be able to catch three fish, which is potentially 150 energy. Back. Energy back. Because right now before mining, it's just a matter of gathering enough stuff that when I go start mining, I have too much energy. There we are. Honestly, I should be making a chest right now and storing stuff at the mines themselves. That way, if I need more energy, I just come back up the ladder. And that's one thing I'm going to do, actually. That's going to work good. I'll do that tomorrow. More fish. So much energy. Almost ridiculous. Whoopsie doopsie. This fish is jerky. What is this? Another bullhead? Catfish? Bullhead? Whatever they are. Uh, let's do one more cast. we got a nice variety of fish right now. I think we'll be okay. After this, I'm just going to head back. My fish aren't going to stack pretty soon. I'm going to get annoyed with that. But this is working out pretty good. i got a nice variety of fish. There's tons of energy in all these guys. Garbage. Okay. Let's head back. We're going to select the site. That way you don't waste any energy. Tomorrow, chest in the mines, water the stuff, try and do field snacks. Blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure I can hit the bottom of the mines, like, pretty quick. I'm pretty confident in that. Even if I have to buy a better sword, which I very well will consider, I can make this work. Hmm. Whoop, whoop. Stuck. It's hard to see at night. That's a problem. All right. Oh, this is going in there. How much wood do I have? 71, so I can already make another chest. Perfect. I'm going to carry that on me just so I can make a chest in the morning. Take it to the mines along with some fish. What day do you unlock mines? There's field snacks, so level one foraging is when you can make them. Fishing leveled up. That's not really a big deal. Oh yeah, I can't even take the chest to the mines yet. That's okay. Uh, I can still put a chest nearby. So we're going to do that. We're going to do just that. Okay, let's take all the valuable forgeables. Uh, okay. To the mines. Don't have to water, so that's a big plus. I can gather all these for field snacks today. Maybe even catch a few more fish. Hello from Ireland, by the way. Hello, Ireland. Welcome to the stream. It's got to be getting late there. 12 o'clock? Midnight-ish? Yeah, normally I don't bother to do this, but this is actually going to make a pretty big difference. I'm just going to set it. Even if it's right here, it's that much closer. I want to do the mines. I come back up. Right here. Boom. Out of the way. I, I really want to know how that guy got over there. How did he get to that side? And how did a rock get there in the first place? Where did they fall from? They say there's a mountain there, but I don't believe them. I've never seen it. 
Well, all right. Let's go do the field snack thing. Best source of energy possible. We can even we can even shake some trees along the way. They're not really giving me much. That's okay. Let's go uh, get the nubs out of the ground. Those are going to be the best way to do this. Good morning from Down Under. Good morning. Presumably Australia. Some people say that from New Zealand too. Which always confuses me. There's one. Chop. Maple seed. So I need an oak. Actually I need pine cones. I already have at least one acorn. So when the leaves flutter out. They're a fresh tree. Maple tree. Need pine cones. So basically doing it this way. You can use 6 energy to get 45 back. As long as you're finding the seeds, which I'm not getting super lucky with, but they'll be here eventually. Once the trees go crazy, there's no stopping them. I'm going to clear out all the other fiber along the way too. If I have to, I will stop, start chopping the tops off trees. I'm just doing this, trying to do it as efficiently as possible for now. Not a lot of good luck to start the run, but the luck's going to come into a factor more so once I start mining. That's when it really matters. Right now, not as big a deal. Chop. 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 Come on, give me some good stuff. And like I said, the more room these things have to uh, expand upon, the better it is. Mark is second. 279. Oh, sorry. Marcus Accord. 279. Thank you, Marcus Accord. What should I do on my first year? Love the streams. Uh, make as much money as possible. Plant strawberries in spring. Once you get them at the egg festival, then do blueberries in summer, and then cranberries in fall. Another leg spike there. That's weird. Not sure why that's happening. Ooh, acorn. Oh, I can make my first field snack. There's one. 45 energy, and I've used very little energy to get here. Once I'm done this kind of route, I'm going to start taking care of more of the... I'm just going to start chopping the tops off the trees, basically. Oh, here's a few right here. I didn't even see these. They were hiding. So there's another one. There we go. Second field stack. There's 90 energy right there. And I like this feeling too. It's kind of like priming before we get to the mines. Suddenly we'll start getting to the mines and going down and we'll get way down. Provided we get a little bit of decent luck. One more pine cone. The autumn effect. Five more dollars. Thank you again. The autumn effect. Is there a thing where if you level foraging they'll stop dropping their seeds? Apparently there is. That's what people have been telling me. I haven't really confirmed that personally but that's what I get told a lot. So I'm assuming it's true. It feels like it's true. Because like yesterday, to stop giving me seeds. That might be because I wasn't level 1 though. I've not verified that one way or another. Okay, I got a pine cone, acorn. I need maple. Maple trees, give me your stuff. This is a maple. Give me your seeds. Enough playing hard to get. Come on, give me two. Or none. Did my forging level up again? No, forging's still okay. Uh, well, let's cut down a few maple trees. These stumps will still produce, uh... Can I get one from this? Nope, just wood. The maple trees will still produce, uh, the seeds in the ground once they're stumped like that. For those of you worried about that. There's three field snacks. Now what do I need? I got a pine cone. I need a oak and a maple. So I'll top these trees. Skylar Miskimen is here. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, Skylar. Acorn, we need maple. To be honest, these don't look a lot like the maple trees we have in Canada. They're kind of bare resemblance, but they're not used to the ones that I know. Uh, let's kind of organize everything. Maple, so we need a pine and an oak. Well, this is an oak. Hopefully it doesn't fall in the water. I believe Concerned Ape, the creator of this game, is in Seattle, which isn't far away from me, actually. So they probably actually get quite a few maple trees there. 
I think. I don't spend a lot of time down that way. Smash, smash. Another pine. Two pines, maple, so we need an oak. It's coming along beautifully. We're going to have a lot of energy by the time we start mining. Which I think is the fifth. There we go, and all we need is acorn maple. Which is this one. See how easy this is? Almost too easy. Crafting maple seed, boom, six. Okay, now I need everything. So we'll start the process again. Didn't even see that thing hiding down there. I probably should be a little more diligent about shaking the trees before I cut them, but I haven't yet. Go hang with CA. I'll just show up there and be like, hey. I'm here. We're going to hang out. We're going to do Pacific Northwest stuff. We're going to hang out in the rain and discuss maple trees together. I need a pine cone. Just so happens I know where there's a pine tree. Whoops. Wrong way. Live in Washington. Washington's cool. It's so similar to here. 34 energy. Um, so we cannot cut down enough trees to get more field snacks. What we can do is something. We're going to take that stuff and the wood, and we're going to sell this. And yes, there is a method to my madness. Stones I'm going to hold on to. Coal I'm not. Um... Okay, we're going to just do just a little bit of fishing then. Just a little bit to see what we can catch. We'll go fish back at the lake. We're just about ready for mining. We're almost there. We'll go catch a few itty bitty fish. We got anything that's really low on the energy scale? We'll take those. We'll eat them now, in fact. It's a rainy day too, so... I live in Oregon. We have a, quite a few maple trees here. Yeah, I don't think you really lose the maple trees until you hit kind of California. I think, because I think maple trees actually need quite a bit of rain. They need sun too, but I think the rain makes a big difference. What level of the mines are you on? Zero yet. The mines haven't even opened yet. I'm just gathering energy for the big mining kaboom. But don't worry, once I start mining, it's going to be like a rocket ship downwards. I'm going to hit the bottom so hard, I'm going to bust right through it and hit mining level 121. You'll see. Then I can change the title of the stream. Secret Floor Discovered. Mine level 121. What happened to the road to 1 million? Uh, that run crashed and died. I was making a video on it last night and realized it wasn't going to work. So then I crashed and died. I went to bed after that. It's raining on my head because I don't have a rain hat. I'll do another million gold challenge, y'all. I gotta, I gotta get that one in order. Good fish? Oh, this is a boring fish. Still an energy fish, but a boring fish regardless. I should have actually brought the field snacks. I could have put them in my chest, but whatever. Not a big deal. Mining craft? It's Minecraft. We're Minecrafting. I assume that's what Minecraft is? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh. Oh, really? That was dumb of me. I gotta pay more attention. Much more attention. And we got it. Boring fish, though. That carp I might just consume, because if I can catch two more fish out of energy, I'm way ahead. See, the chub is 35 energy. That's way more. First time watching you stream, LA Tricky. Welcome. Welcome to the party. I want to hit the bottom of the mines by, like, the 15th of spring. I'm pretty confident I can actually do that. Have you thought about playing Sasquatch with Denver again? I haven't, really. I should, actually, though. That was a lot of fun when we did that. Maybe we'll do that on stream sometime, just for fun. Get a little horror game going on a Friday night or something. And I know it's had an update or two since we played it. That might just be a fun thing to do one night.
And largemouth bass. That's a good one. Couple more fish. Then we'll be moving along. Starting to feel exhausted. That's because I'm fishing in the rain at night. Yeah, I think the 15th is my goal to hit the bottom of the mines. 15th. I think I can do it by then. Someone quote me on that. 15th. Just got back from classes. Finally caught a stream. Greetings from Toronto. Hello, Toronto. Never been over there. I love horror games. Horror games can be fun. Okay, the only fish I'm going to eat are these two. So there's a bit more energy, though. And if I catch even one largemouth bass out of these, then I'll be worth it. You could come across a legend fish. I could, but I'm not going to catch it. Not with my current fishing skill. Unless it just happens to, you know, go downwards constantly, which I don't think it's going to. It tends to be pretty hard to catch, even at level 10 fishing. Oh, this might be a largemouth. And the treasure chest. Should I get greedy? Let's get greedy. Uh, I don't think it's a largemouth now that we're here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm going to start reading chat and catch the fish now. Bullhead. Not bad. Those are 25. Ooh, there we go. Money. Eh, it's money. It's all money. Money. One more fish after this. Tomorrow's the last day of prep because I think it opens on the 5th and then we're going down. Going down quicker than mumps. Oh, well, there's another useless carp. Silver quality though. Hmm. It's always a debate. Do you keep the fish? Do you use it for energy and gamble for better fish? At some point you gotta cut it off and say, okay, enough's enough. We need to we need to move on. But one thing I do know, we're gonna have a ton of energy for the mines. Topaz bait. Uh let's use one of these. I just don't want to spend a lot of time fishing either, because fishing's boring after a while. Fun at first, kind of therapeutic. My sister calls this game a fun, mind-numbing experience. Yeah, well, everyone sees it a little bit differently. Chub, uh, one more cast. One more cast. Hopefully DF realizes he has acorns and pine cones in his chest. Well, I guess I do now. Come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. And... Got it. Okay, another chub. Excellent. That's pretty good, pretty good. Alright, some of this stuff's going into the chest where it can be accessed for quick energy from the mines. Boom, 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 boom. Garbage can go back where it belongs. I'm gonna sell that stuff for profit. Fishing boring. Goat loops is heartbroken. And I'm gonna drink some water. Gotta stay hydrated. Spend a lot of not a lot of time in the sun, but enough that I can feel it. Need to gradually introduce myself to the sun. If I wasn't streaming, I probably would have spent a little more time out there. The sun just feels good. Nice that I didn't have to water today. Oh, wait. Gotta throw these in the bin. Go, 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 go. We'll make some money today, that's for sure. No. Yeah, I need the maple seeds still to uh, get what I need. Fishing rod baked. How we doing? There we go. Actually, a lot of money off that stuff. Wood, actually, was not bad money. So there's 1151 gold just from that. Pam is best girl. Pam is monster. Pam is worst monster, not best girl. Worst monster. Stupid crow. Get out of here, bird. All right. We're going to parsnips. We're going to have field snacks. We're going to have fish. And maybe a little something else for the mines. You'll see. I barely even want to go touch the spring onions at this point, but I guess I should go look. 
Other than that, it's going to be pretty much the same thing today. Field snacks and maybe a little fishing. Actually, I'm also going to... I'm going to hold on to these right now. That way I know where to find them. Watering can. That stuff should be done tomorrow. And then I can harvest all these. We'll be good to go. Pam is best scarecrow. Pam keeps everything away. You put a Pam on your farm, nothing's coming on there. Alright, let's shake some trees on the way out. Oh, I need my scythe and everything too. Don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Just a scythe. I don't think I need the pick right now. I should be able to slip through my farm. Ooh, you see that grass is making a comeback. Get out of here. And look at all the little nubs poking up already. See, already there's two field snacks. Boom. 90 energy, just like that. And I haven't even shaken any trees. I am going to go to the spring onions still too. Probably not worth it, but I'm just going to anyway. You, you can't shake the stumps. Maybe you can actually, I don't know. Probably not. Pine cone seat, and I almost have enough for one more field snack. I'm really curious to see how quickly I actually can do this. Like, I'm really, really invested in this run to see how quick I can do this. And yeah, I could be doing it more efficiently off stream, but maybe if I, depending on how good I do this, I'll do a video on it or a video series potentially just make this super quick. Because yeah, streaming, it's a little bit hard. And then since this is my kind of initial run at it, I missed a turnip. Oh, that's okay. It'll still be watered down the road, still be used for energy at some point. Well, we got a few spring onions, that counts. I can also shake these. They just don't seed up down here. And they don't seem to want to give me stuff. Give me stuff. Give me stuff. Give me stuff. DF your parsnip. RIP parsnip. Yeah, I'll get it. Just for you guys, because you were so thoughtful to point it out. Doink. Pam could kill me and I'd let her. Interesting. Yeah, I will get to the uh, the missing parsnip. Don't y'all worry. Shake, 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 shake. Shake. Sometimes they give you lots of good stuff. They really do. I mean, this is probably the truly the most efficient way to get energy because you use zero to uh, get the pieces for field snacks. But even if you got to hit the seeds, it's six per field snack, which is, you know, six energy to get 45 back. So you're making 39 energy every time you do it. All right, we'll go get that little guy. Do I have this stuff for field snacks? Yeah, I got one. Uh, I need to keep this stuff organized somewhat. It's hard to see once it gets all muddled. So three pine cones. We need oak. We need an oak seed, or just chop down an oak tree. Either way, I'll be happy. The tree won't, but I will. This should be an oak, I believe. Nope. Sometimes a reach on those is really deceiving. Like, there's no way that could be that kind of seed, but then it is. Alright, I'm gonna have to start lopping some trees down. So I got two pines, one maple, so I need an oak. Which is this guy. Shake. Shake first, then cut. And we got two from that. So there we go. Now we only need one more maple. Which is this guy. Has this guy ever played Stardew before today? No, this is my first time playing it. It looked like a really fun game. People have been telling me about it for years. So I was like, you know what? I should probably actually try that. And so far, it's pretty good. I'm liking it. I really like a lot of this stuff going on. Oh, yeah, I missed that one. It was hiding, that's why. Okay, gonna keep some of this stuff on me because I need to bring it to the mines chest later. And this stuff's gonna stay on me because I'm gonna sell it. That wood money is actually kind of helpful in a way, and you'll see why. 
Oh, acorn. That fell out of me. I think if you hit it, you might get an acorn just from it shaking like that. Wood sap. Okay, let's get a maple, then a pine. I also had a really good game of Fortnite before I started this. It's the first game I played today, and I won. One game, one win, then I started streaming. I wanted to end on a high note. I know if I played another one, it wouldn't work. Okay, my foraging skill clearly leveled up. So it's they've stopped giving me stuff. So I'm going to stop doing this right now. So that confirms it. Once your foraging skill levels up, they stop giving you the useful stuff. And that's okay. So there's a bit more money and we're going... Oh, I want my fishing rod. We're going to use up the rest of this energy on fishing. Moving along. Does the trees in the forest also spawn the seeds around it? Uh, not out in the forest. There's a dandelion up there. I just noticed. Foolish donut, you've been noticed. I will notice you. Suddenly there's forgeables galore up at the bus stop. These are the ones you want the leaks. Hopefully quality ones, but 40 energy is still 40 energy. Have I ran into Sacriel in Fortnite? Not that I know of, <clears throat> but I don't really pay attention to who I'm killing or who's killing me. I often overlook that. What's Lewis doing up there? Suspicious stuff. That's how him and Marnie pass notes. Okay, that's all I'm going to sell there for that money, the money you see up top. <clears throat> uh, Kiza Ichiba, $5. Thank you very much, Kiza Ichiba. Sorry about butchering your name, but thank you for your $5. Salad is going to be my secret weapon. Bet you guys didn't think of that. 113 energy per. So there's si over 660 energy right there. Dank the, d Dank the Danager. Dank the Danager. $10. DF, please make a Strictly Forage Farm video. Gather seasonal forage and only plant forage. You'd see how much money potential energy you can gather per season. Oh, Interesting. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's one that would take time to do. I might put that into works, but that was one that would take a long time to do. What did I just get that? Boom. Bam zoo. And leg. What is with that? That's weird. I don't know why it's lagging like that. Something's not liking it. Should have restarted before the stream, but I think, hey, Stardew Valley. That takes up a lot of my computer's resources. Why, why bother? Demetrius, as you were, keep doing what you do. Always thought it was weird to eat dandelion in a salad. I've never tried that myself, but they are very bitter. I remember that from childhood. I was like, I can eat dandelions. Look at the pretty flower. Every time they're bitter. Amber Rose Reynoso, $1.99, having tacos for dinner. I had tacos last week. They were excellent. I love tacos. Thank you, Amber Rose Reynoso. Thank you. Catching the fish. Come on, fish. Bite it. Bite it. Bite it. Fishing is so slow with these low levels. At least at level 10 they bite pretty frequently, especially if you have the proper bait. Wild bait and maybe a little lure to it help. Not what I wanted. Not at all what I wanted. Do I play console too? I don't currently. I do want to get a Switch. I really do want a Switch. I should probably just buy one already, but I feel like it would distract me too much from doing the stuff I should be doing. How old is my computer? I got it last year. It's not even a year old. I'm curious why this is the only area you fish in. Uh, it's just one of the good areas. As long as you're casting toward that log, you're doing good. Some people say casting down from the island is better. I've never really found that myself, but we can try. Whatever. Why not? So far, we're catching useless fish. I don't really want to use up any energy if I'm only catching useless fish. Do you have traumatized by dandelions now? No, I learned. You don't know if you don't try. Switches are amazing. Yeah, I I really want 
to try a lot of the games. I just worried to lead up too much of my time. Smash Bros on Switch. Yeah, that, that'll be interesting. But I might get this Switch for like... Then I can like play it outside. I can sit in the sun. Because it helps to get outside and get some sun. Sit there, play some Switch, get some sun. The good life. The problem is I can't really make any content on that stuff. And that's why I, I'm kind of hesitant to do it. I try and stay productive with the games and stuff I play and do. Seaweed. I'm really hesitant to even eat any of these to try and get better stuff. Because I'm just getting crap so far. Except for that. The bullhead was a good find. Get the fish. There we go. Easy fish. Now the mine itself, a big factor of the luck is going to be weapons. I need to find a weapon. Tracy S, $20. Just want to say, love you on your channel. And oh, people need to do more yeah. likes on this stream. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, Tracy S, thank you very much. Can we get some love in the chat for Tracy S? The big $20. Thank you. And... More likes. Because Tracy S. said so. What do we got? Frozen geode? I can sell that for money. I am going to eat... Not those. I'm going to eat the carp. I'm not going to waste too much time fishing today because it's not really giving me too much back. Let's get 400 likes. Grace and Tinker, you're absolutely right. Let's get 400 likes. Can we do that? If you guys can find it in your heart, hit that like button. Tomorrow we start mining. I've seen the uh, I've seen the trailer for Smash. I've seen it a few times. It's been a long time since I played any of the Smash games. Honestly, the last time I played was the Nintendo 64, the original. I mean, I played the other ones a bit, but very little. I couldn't even tell you anything about them. Bite, 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 bite. Come on. Bad luck today. It must be like a terrible luck day. I'm finding absolute garbage everywhere. Come on, there it is. What do we got? Another chub. Okay, that was a good good catch. Especially if it's silver quality, 35 energy each. 105 energy just out of chubs. Who knew chubs could be so helpful? Collect coral and use money to buy salad. Yeah, I probably should. Uh, I can't get any coral yet anyway. It's on the other side of the beach and I don't want to... The wood was actually pretty valuable to sell in itself. Seaweed. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, I'm about done fishing for the day because I feel like I'm not catching very much. It's worth it. I got a few chubs and garbage. Okay, I'm done fishing for the day. Enough's enough. Ooh, don't sell those. I'm out. Forget it. Just wasting my time. Those are all good finds, though. Not so much a driftwood, but the rest of it. You, hurry up. We don't have all day. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. Look at all that energy so far. Huge amounts of energy. And then tomorrow, I definitely need to remember to bring my pickaxe. Best not get a switch. My mom just broke mine. Stephen Jones. That's unfortunate. I would be unhappy with that. Well, let's throw these last few things into the bin. And then tomorrow, we're going to also harvest all these. And then we're going to go to the mines and start mining right away. I think that was a pretty good build-up to it. That's basically a general principle about how you'd want to lead up building to the mines. Foraging. Survival burger. Can't make that yet anyway. Money for the day. Minimal. Well, there's 303 gold. That could have been a salad, but I'm not going to be there when the saloon's open because I'm going to be diving into the mines. Wait, is it tomorrow that the mines open or today? Can someone clarify? Is it the 6th or the 5th that the mines open? It's a dog. I'm going to name this dog after a sponsor. We're going to name this dog after Jen Hackett because she's the first one I saw. Yes. Jen Hackett, you're about to be a dog. I don't know if I can fit that whole all in there. And what's exactly the spelling on that? 
Oh, it does fit. There you go. Jen Hackett, you're now a dog. Congratulations. Okay, can someone clarify? Is it the sixth remaining or the fifth? Fifth. Okay, cool. Uh, look at all the damage the crows did to my crop. It's heartbreaking. That's okay. Look at all that energy. Oh, I forgot to water that one for a day, apparently. Well, better remedy that situation. Um... Okay, that going there. No, and the mines, what do I need for the mines? Just the pick. Uh, Gortana donated 257. Hey, DF, I'm working and staying on an actual farm right now, and the Wi-Fi is trash, so I don't know if I can watch for long. But be thankful you're not farming in real life. Uh, let me get that message. Hold on. Hold the phone right there. Be thankful you're not farming in real life. Snowstorm right now. Here's a tip for your virtual... For for your virtual farming from my real life farm paycheck. Thank you very much, Gwertana. Thank you. Okay. They open on the fifth. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just wanted to double check. Okay, I don't need anything more than to pick for mining, really. Any money? Anything? 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 Nothing. Okay. Let's go. Ah, go. Yeah, if anyone also wants to join my Discord, there's a link in the description, a link to my Twitter if you want to follow me there, and a link for the sponsorship if you want to become a sponsor, get the green text name and the mom's head icon, all that other stuff, follow the link in the description. Mine's open up on the 5th, just check the wiki. Yeah, let me just pause this live stream I'm doing. I'll just bring up the wiki for a few minutes. You guys can wait. I'm sure no one will mind. Wish I had thought of that. Okay. No, let's bring field snacks. Let's bring just this stuff for now and see how far this stuff gets us. This will be one of the first things I eat. Okay, here's the whole mine thing going up. Bring bombs. I don't have any bombs. And we're just going to start right here. I got this sword. The sword is the other thing I need. All right. Our first adventure downwards. Uh, we got to put these side by side. Gray rocks. The other one's smashed with only one hit, actually, so I'm not going to focus on gray rocks for once. Normally I do, but if the rocks can break one hit, I'm going to focus on those. All right, so far so good. No, oh, easy. Well, there's floor five. Must be a good luck day. Rock, 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 rock. Okay, I like these floors so far. They're so spaced out. Like, look, there's so very few rocks. Awesome. Well, that was really quick, quick floor five. I bet that was almost a record in itself. Also, you can kill monsters. They take zero energy to kill with your sword. And they can drop the uh, ladder too, so that's always an option. Like so. Chop, 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 chop. Well, we're on floor 6 already. It's only 8.50 a.m. We hit a checkpoint. There's floor 7. This is a bigger floor. Uh, bombs will be, if I can, I will definitely incorporate bombs into this because bombs will make things much faster. Double tap. Uh, let's go kill a slime. Let's see how the energy is going down already. I'm at half energy. But if I could use half a bar of energy for every 7 floors, I'd be at the bottom in no time. We're going to clear up a bit of room right here. See how much it tops me up, every last one. And that was a bit wasteful, but not the end of the world. And especially if you get a day where you know it's good luck, absolutely go for it. Just spend as much time in the mines as you can, because those ladders can spawn pretty frequently when you're lucky. And I am going to hold on to rocks, that way I can skip trouble floors. There's that stutter again. Weird. Double hit. Got a rock and the bug. Double murder. There it is. Cake. Okay, glad that floor is over with. I never liked those big floors. They take too long. I'm going to kill this slime real quick. I feel like he's holding the key. You holding what I want? Give it. Give it. Nope. Just a typical innocent slime. Ooh, infested floor. All right. These 
do take a bit of time, but they take no energy to clear, so I'm not really losing much here. Plus all the drops you can get. They can drop some really cool stuff. Like I said, if I get a better sword, which normally comes in as slimes with the yellow star above their head, time to make some tough decisions. Uh, You know what? Let's eat something. How about that? Dangerously funny. Uh, I love you. Can you please tell a fun story from your real life? Uh, if I wasn't so focused on mining, I probably could. Because I'd probably just get halfway through this story and then forget. I gotta get these guys to organize. Can you guys organize yourselves just a little bit? There's so many slimes on this floor. My excitement for this floor is kind of dwindled. But if they drop me something good, that wouldn't be the end of the world. Oh, now they're all over the place. Take forever. I'll get them later. I'll get it. I need them to group up again. And this is where, like, the better sword would come in handy because obviously it would take far less hits to kill them. Dead. 697 watching and only 423 likes. Ouch, I'm heartbroken. I should just end the stream right now. I see. No one even likes the stream. That's okay. I see how it is. I don't like any of you anyway. Yeah, I said it. No love for this stream. Yeah, I was hoping there'd be less slimes on this floor. Normally I would be excited about an infested floor, but when it's this big, not super helpful. Lots of slimes though. Slimes are actually somewhat valuable. There we go. And just the last few idiots. Yeah, there we go. Group it up. Group it up. About time. Alright, these are boots to help me stay strong. Whoops, booties there. Good to go. Alright, still going good with all my energy and everything. We're going to kill a slime because it's quick. Aha, ladder down. Floor 12. Oh, these floors just run right to the end that are shaped like this. You'll learn to recognize them, so this will be floor 13. Easy. Very little problem. I'm going to need a parsnip right now to top up my health and energy. Let's just keep things nice and topped up for now. Uh, Coal might be somewhat valuable, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that along the way. Aha! I was hoping that would work, and for some reason it actually did. Any enemies I can kill here? Well, we'll go for single break rocks for now. It must be a good luck day, judging by the amount of ladders I'm finding. So, let's keep the good times rolling. There's 15. Easy. I thought that was a trick rock for a sec. I was sure it was. The diggers down there. I'm gonna ignore them. I don't think those guys can spawn a ladder because of where they're at. Maybe if they're like the last thing on the floor, they can spawn the ladder by your ladder down. Uh, Dank the Danager. Whoops. Uh, $10. Take more money. Oh, That's how we show people yeah. we like them anyway. <laughs> That's right, Dank the da Danager. Thank you again. Another $10. Thank you. Oh, the bug floors. These are going to get annoying. I need a better sword. If I do see one of the uh, star slimes, I'm going to murder it ASAP. These floors are going to get old. Oh, there we go. Got to take advantage of these good luck days. Quick smash, quick smash. Give me floor. Give me ladder. Give me ladder. No ladder. That's okay. If I was doing this in real time, I'd probably actually skip bad luck days and do only the good luck days. Even a glow ring would be hugely helpful right now because I might miss a ladder. No ladder. I was hoping that bug would give me one. Incoming bug. Gotta ignore the bug for a minute. Hopefully just get a ladder downwards. I want less knockback. A weapon with high damage, high speed, and no knockback would be preferable. Obviously.
Get out of here, slime. Alright, let's eat a few more parsnips. Get going again. Floor 18. So if I can hit 25 today, that would be huge. That would be hugely huge. Uh, let's keep going with the parsnips for now. Aha. Found it. Oh. Oh, I was going to say how much I hate that floor because it's a big spiral floor. That's the better sword. Good. Oh, wow. What a lucky day. I gotta start breaking boxes too, because boxes have a good chance of also dropping a sword. I think that's where I found my good sword on my last playthrough. And that was really helpful. Take a little look around. I just, I would be smashing more of the boxes and killing more of the things, but since I have such a good luck day, I want to try and stay on top of it and just keep mining downwards. Quick as I possibly can. And the stutter's back. Cool. All good. We'll keep going. Uh, I should go break that box. I'm feeling lucky about it. Barrel, whatever it is. Same thing. Boxes, barrels. There's no difference, really. Just splitting hairs at that point. Okay, definitely need some energy. Eat parsnips, eat parsnips. How are you, DF? Hope Badger? I'm wonderful today. Well caffeinated, got lots of sun. Everything's going my way. I don't want to eat too much more than that. I don't Because if I hit an awkward floor, I have to stop. And then I have surplus energy, which is a no-no. Oh, look at all those bugs. I'm going to stay away from those. Hope to get a ladder like right here. Ladder? 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 Oh, let's skirt past them. Come on. Give it to me. There it is. Aha. Wow. This is phenomenal luck. Fantastica B. Beep boop. Thank you, Fantastica B. Hope you're also enjoying this beautiful Vancouver weather today. Take advantage of it while you can. It's supposed to rain again for a few days. So far, I'm definitely on pace to hit the bottom of the mines by the 15th of spring. I think that could be done easy. This floor is not so lucky, though. Why is it not turning like that? That's weird. Maybe because my cursor is too low. Okay, this bug's annoying me. Fun fact, if something is about to hit you, you can eat something. Pause it for a sec. Stupid bugs. Also notice the bugs are coming out here in full force too. A lot of wasps and stuff around today, enjoying that sun. Okay, fine. I will kill you if it makes you feel better. Happy now, stupid bug. I don't know if my mining level is really going to increase that much doing this because I'm not really hitting any of the high value items, the gray rocks or the orange gems. Aha. Come on, ladders. Aha. Cool. Let's keep going down. The dark floors. Okay, these are where they could get iffy. Because these monsters are actually high defense. They're hard to kill, so I'm going to avoid them because they're going to take too long. I'm going to try and stick to these single break rocks and probably take a lot of damage doing it. This floor could be trouble. Should I just try and kill all these things right now? Hope, hope for a ladder? Let's do that. Come on, something's got to give me a ladder. The problem with these floor too is you can also miss the ladder really easy. Because it's hard to see. Especially if one naturally spawns, it's hard to pick out. Aha, ladder. Okay, let's uh, top up that energy a little bit more. Whew. 
Whew. We're making good time now. We're definitely making good time. It is getting late though, so 35 is probably going to be my stopping point for the day, but that's still phenomenal for day one. I'm getting lighter. We got some bats incoming. Oh, ladder. Goodbye, bats. Nice try. Once we have 40, the rocks are going to take two hits with the pick, so things are going to get a little more annoying. But I can deal with that. There we are. There we are. Aha. I can feel the ladder. Ooh, I could almost push for one more floor if I was really lucky. I would have to do it, like, super quick, though. That's a pretty big gamble I don't want to take. Well, let's go for it anyway. We don't really need to lose by not hitting that floor. We just got to redo some floors, if anything. I'm going to be super amazed if I actually do that. Uh... I don't know why I took that Omni Geode. I'm probably not going to process that at any point, but just in case. Come on, super luck. Don't die on me now. Come on, come on, come on. I need this ladder right now. And then a few more on top of that. I don't think it's going to give it to me. I might just be wasting foraging items at this point. Okay, uh, I've got to get out of here. <clears throat> I'm still probably going to pass out by the end of today because I pushed my luck, but that's okay. That is okay. Leave the mines. Can we make it back in an hour? Yeah, I think we can. Even if I pass out, I just top up with forgeable items anyway. And I'm going to sell some of the stuff, see what kind of money we can get in case I need some salad later on. That was close, though. Close. 40 levels would have been crazy. Use your stones to make stairs. Uh, my mining skill is nowhere near high enough to do that because that was my first day mining. I like where you're going with that, but it just doesn't work. 140, 150. Uh-oh. Go! Into bed, into bed, into bed. Ooh, talk about cutting it close. Farming, combat, mining. Done. Do the journal hack. And we can start doing bombs too. So copper and coal is what I want to hold on to. Uh, whatever. How many geodes aren't worth anything to sell? And I'm not going to get time to process. Look who's here. If you want to get the most out of the ores, you'll find you'll need a furnace. I know what I'm doing, Clint. I've been here before. Okay. Mm, rocks I'm going to put in a chest near the mines. And that should be enough forging items for me for the day. Yeah, I can make bombs now, which is hugely helpful. Lots of those are going to be sprouting up everywhere. Let's go. Put the sap away. Sap is trash. Meh, whatever. The sap is just what the sap is. Two o'clock is pass out time. Yes, which is why I went to bed before two o'clock. Almost done with the computer. Excellent. Hopefully that's all going swimmingly for you. Rocks in here, because I can't make the stairs yet. I can't remember what level you get the stairs at, but let's keep on rolling. Uh, 35. Oh, I should have checked my luck for the day, though I'd almost rather not know. I'll just go into it with a positive outlook. This is a big floor. Uh, let's get a little more copper for bombs. Not sure if this is a good idea or not, but we're going to go for it. We can use bombs to get more bombs. Crafting four more bombs. No, oh, those bombs actually have a pretty big radius on them. I'm surprised.
Okay. Let's try the bomb thing again. Put one there, whatever. No ladder yet. Not super lucky on this floor. We'll go with another bomb. Come on, ladder. Ladder? Ladder? If it's an enemy I gotta kill, I'm gonna be really annoyed because these enemies are too hard to kill. They take too much time. Smash, smash. What device do I play on? Uh, PC, computer. There it is. Anytime I see a nice cluster of rocks, I will use my bomb on it. And especially where there's copper involved. Because I can make more bombs out of the stuff I get. Like so. Ladder. Okay, I think that is a pretty good luck day too, clearly, because I'm making my way down. Is this a slingshot? Oh, I don't want that, but whatever. Okay, now we're onto these floors. So everything's going to take a few extra hits. I don't know if I want to start collecting iron right now or not. I can make bigger bombs. I'm not sure if it's worth the extra hits it's going to take. Oh, there's a better weapon. Wooden mallet, 15 to 24 damage, which is a huge upgrade from whatever that one is. I can't be bothered to check. Whatever. Lots of knockback, but big damage. Worth it. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to start collecting the iron. Anyway, might as well. Oh, there's a forest sword too. Wow, very good luck day. Uh, uh, wood? Okay, what's the difference? 8 to 18, 15 to 24. I'm going to use the mallet over the forest sword, but I did find both, so that's actually really, really lucky. And apparently you don't upgrade your pick on these runs, but bombs are going to come in handy then. That's for sure. So I'm actually going to cherry bomb these before I move on. Get a bunch of iron, then I can make better bombs down the road. Whoops. I'll try and save some bombs to the lowest floors. Iron's really going to come in handy then, because then I can blow up the rocks that I wouldn't normally be able to break very quickly. Already up to three hits though, wow. But if I'm doing it soonest in game, it's probably not worth my time to do it, upgrade the pick. Actually, now that I got the better mallet, let's go kill things for doors, for ladders. Tough slime. Aha. Ooh, that's a forageable. Give me that. Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take it, we're going to eat it, and then we're going to pick this stuff back up. Genius, I know. Eat parsnips, eat parsnips, eat parsnips. Okay, moving on. I got confused for a sec. Hey, 666 people watching. How about that? Evil number. Don't want the frozen geode. That mallet was a good find. I don't really find those very often until I get deeper. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Yeah, progress slows way down. Those first floors are easy. Now, a little bit more challenging. We got anything down here I can kill? I'm going to go for the slime. I'm hoping I get lucky off this one. Yeah. Oh, there's a winter root. Whatever. Mind the iron. Kill this fuzzy. Mind the iron. And we'll kill the slime. Well, hopefully... Oh, there's a ladder anyway.
Come on, slime. Give me a ladder. Get into a spot where you can't give me a ladder. Stupid slime. There we go. Fail. So far, I'm making pretty good time, though. Almost floor 50, and it's only the 6. Some days, though, it's going to be a real challenge to get any floors. But still got lots of forgeable resources. Still got all the parsnips. Haven't even started on a field snacks. Haven't started on a salad. Haven't started on anything. Use the right button to smash energies, yeah, always. Smash enemies. Enemies. I always forget there's that right click on weapons. I never use it. I hear fuzzies. Murder balls. Let's go get them. Die, 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 die. Nothing? Nothing. All right. Ooh, this sword might be better again. Wow, such good drops today. Let's investigate. Uh, 12 to 25. Uh, don't want this sword. Yeah, I want this sword. Not the mallet. I like this sword better. Less knockback, a little quicker. This was the sword I found in my other run that I liked so much. I want, I think there's a ladder here. We're gonna kill that slime. That's what we're gonna do. Hope for the best. All right. Hmm. Ladder down. Ooh. Top up on the copper while we're here. Oh, look at all the fuzzies to kill. This floor is going to be great. I'm going to kill those because I want the coal. Come here, murder creatures. Yeah, if I was still at the basic swords, I would not be having a good time. Making pretty good time, though. I'm really happy with this so far. Okay, if one of these could give me a ladder, though, that would be even better. Perfect. Uh, they're running. Forget them. Moving on. What's this? Boots? Uh... Good to go. Moving down. 51. Making great time. But it's already 450. I'll probably have 55 at best today, so definitely less less progress than yesterday, but still doing pretty good. Are you going to toss the forest sword? I guess I probably should, huh? Thanks for pointing that out. I forgot. Okay, anyways, this is a non-energy floor, so this is good. I love the murder balls. They are so cute. Yeah, they're adorable. Everyone loves the murder balls. Okay, they're dead. Come on, I don't have all day. I'm a busy person. I gotta get back to drinking coffee. And dead. All oh, right. Ooh, this could be a good floor, depending on what we got. Why is there a way out here? Weird. All right, bring it in, everything. I want to kill you all, and hopefully you'll spawn a floor. Come on, over here. Yeah, here we go. Aha. Played right into my hands. This area is infested. Oh, this is a huge infested floor. I want a ladder down now. No? Fine, I see how it is. Running out of parsnips, but... Oh, and the ghosts. I forgot about the ghosts. That's one of the reasons I wanted to sword over the mallet. Less knockback on the things that go flying every time you breathe on them. They're like the Jigglypuff from Smash Brothers of Stardew Valley. You touch them and they go flying and it's so annoying. Okay, you know what, Bat? Just follow me up because I'm going to have to murder everything here anyway. So, yeah. Combat's going to level up, but I don't think that's really going to help me. Gotta run all over this floor. So annoying. Anyways, making good time regardless. Can't complain. 
can't have everything going my way. I'm gonna funnel them all up here. That's why I went down. Murder balls. Die. 26 coal. I can make more mini bombs too. Oh, really? You're the last bad. Get over here. I need you for your ladder. You're running away from me. Stupid. What? I thought that was the last one. What is this? Where's the last thing? Way down here? Yeah, here we go. Floor 55. There's an elevator checkpoint. Hoping for a ladder out of this little guy. Negative. Um, we got a nice cluster right here. Let's make more bombs. I'm feeling that cluster. And the ghost is here. All sorts of things to murder. We got some more iron. Uh, we're just going to cluster right here anyway. Hope for a ladder. Yeah, we got a ladder. Lots of rocks too. That's really what I'm going to go by. I want ladders either from killing things with my sword or from blowing them up with bombs. I will smash occasional iron still for bombs. That's a nice cluster of rocks. Pretty sure I'll get a ladder out of that. Nope, no ladder. Will you give me a ladder then, kind slime? Turquoise slime? I hope so. Bats are coming in. Murder balls getting out of the way. Aha. Perfect. Just as planned. I really like when there's a big group of monsters like this. Especially these little things because they're so easy. Hey, like a coffee bean. I should plant that and make millions of gold. Something here's got to give me a ladder. Come on. Ladder me. Stupid monsters. Two more floors. I'm going to hit 60 today and that's going to be it for today. This floor might take a while, to be honest. This is a big floor. With all sorts of stupid rocks to smash along the way. Will you give me a ladder? Kind slime? Nope. We'll get the coal bake at least. Whatever. Don't you care about that last one? Don't need it that bad? I need floors quick. Because there is potential to actually ruin this run if I miss a ladder one day. Come in. Dwarf scroll. Useless. Where's all the ladders suddenly? This floor wants to be hard to get. I don't want to sacrifice bombs really if I don't have to. A little more iron. I'm going to use a bomb up there I think. Because I really need this floor to spawn. That was my last cherry bomb too. There it is. Let's get this iron anyway. Let's be dumb about this. One more floor. Oh, and it's a long floor. This could be ugly. I might pass out today for trying to find the end of this, depending on how nice it wants to be to me. Ghost, I don't have time for you. Ghost, uh, you're really annoying me now. Give me a ladder. Give me a ladder. I'll forgive you if you give me a ladder. I'll come to your birthday. Your ghost birthday. Whatever day you died, I'll be there. No, nothing. Uh-oh. I got less than an hour to find this thing. This floor sucks because it's so big. Like, you got to do three giant spirals around this floor to make it work. Least favorite floor? Yeah, totally. Oh, I'm out of, uh, also out of the other things. Come on, ladder. Oh, uh, this is not looking super optimistic. Super worried about this now. Uh, I would run and look for a ladder, but I don't think I can have that luxury. Really, it's going to do this to me? 
Well, this is pretty weak. I think I'm going out on this floor and I'm really not happy about it. Don't have anything to make bombs with. Nope, down I go. Wow, that sucks. Really? Those last two floors took me like three hours. Now I can make staircases. Yay, a little too late, but whatever. Leave by 140. Okay, that's okay. Moving on. Oh, sucks I lost that progress, though. Okay, bring you back. Actually, we want to sell some of this stuff, don't we? We're going to bring all the rocks with me. i got to gather the ones in the other chest. We'll be okay. Yeah, that was tough. That really set my run back quite a bit by doing that. Nope, don't do those. Those. We need those, we need those, we need those. And I'm going to definitely hold on to some ladders for when we do that. Okay, what do we got? Uh, okay. Uh-huh. Okay, back to the mines. No time to spare. You lost some floors. Do you really do that for... I thought it was only if you died. Passing out's one thing. I thought... I didn't even get an energy penalty. I thought that's only if you died in the mines. Hopefully not. If so, that would have really hurt. Yeah, I think I just lost the four floors. I don't think that's that big of a deal, really. I'm going to bring the salads with me today. They take up the least amount of room. And I'm going to gather the rest of my rocks. There we go. There's four floors. Salads today. And let's bring the dandelion. And not those. Guess we'll find out right now. Yeah, I'm probably going to use stairs on those last few floors. Yeah, I'm 55 anyway, so... Stupid game. That's why I like to have the stairs available to me too, because when you get to those floors, things can get messy. That was super annoying though, I won't lie. Okay, you get up there, and also give me a ladder. No ladder? Ladder, 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 no ladder. Just me and the annoying ghost. It's probably going to bug me for half an hour and then it's going to give me a ladder. Knockout. They go flying so far, it's so annoying. I'll go chase them down again. Ah, of course it was. Why wouldn't the annoying ghost give me what I want? Can I make bombs yet? Was that part of the deal? No. Okay, we're back on 57 already, so that's pretty good. I do kind of want to smash that copper for the sake of getting more... Potentially more ore, and that worked out pretty good. Okay, pick up the ore. Really? Won't, won't grab that? Oh, I'm full. That's why. Uh, well, let's eat that dandelion. Now, this was one of the annoying floors. I'm going to just do a little bit of it, and if I can't find the ladder, I'm out. Oh, I'm also blocked by a big rock, so you know what? Goodbye, floor. It's been fun. Uh, I'm going to do the same for this floor, to be honest. Because I don't have time to chase this giant swirl around and around. Is this slingshot again? No, that's a crystal dagger. I don't want that. Going down. 61. 62. This is also a pretty big floor. I should probably use rocks on it. I do kind of want to be careful which one I do use the stone stairs on. That settles it. Stone stairs. And one more time. These big floors. I just don't like them very much. They potentially take too long. Because it might be potentially only one of those rocks can turn into what you need. And if there's a thousand rocks to get through, well, that's trouble. Okay, I gotta watch my damage intake. I'm taking damage. Ladder? 
Give me ladder, ghost. I'm gonna re-murder you. This is the ghost of one of Pam's victims. They were unfortunately blindsided by Pam. She was drunk driving the bus, and that is what broke the bus in the first place. Her drunken antics. Am I cheating in any way? I am not. I'm just trying to utilize good strategy, which is kind of working. Kind of giving me trouble. You're gonna die, don't die. I'd never die. I mostly just wanted to kind of get my energy down before I ate something to bring up my health back up. Because I don't want to be eating things if they're not giving me energy, if they're giving me only health. And yes, I just smashed a crystal. Get over it. I really need my mining skill upgraded to the point where I can make the bigger bombs. That's going to make a big difference. Okay, since everything's going to come and swarm me anyway, let's just murder things. Bat, come on. Don't have all day here. No ladder. Weak. So weak. You can tell the locks are different different today. Not as many ladders. Not bad, but not as many as I want. Ladder. 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 Bigger bombs. Bigger bombs. Ladder. Anything. Copper, even. I should have probably gathered more copper from those lower floors I rushed through. I wouldn't have got a lot more, but it might have made a difference. Pam is a black widow. Pam is the black widow. Her bite is pi bite is poisonous. Give me the ladder. It's getting old fast. It's gonna be one of these way down here. I feel like it's not normally these lower ones, or maybe I just never smash these so I don't notice them as much. Definitely not any of those, is it? Watch, I'm not going to make it to floor 70 today. I've got half the day to do it, but it's going to be the last thing I smash every time. I bet it's that bat. Come here, bat. We need to have a talk. Oh, you know, just fly away. New sponsor, Jay Berry, my newest favorite sponsor ever. Welcome to the sponsor club. You now get the green text, the mom's head icon, my undying love, my hand in marriage, a strawberry roll on Discord if you want it. Sponsor only giveaways. Let's see some love for the new sponsor right here in chat. Thank you, Jay Barry. Oh, We're almost to the bottom. Yeah. Oh my god, where is the stupid thing? I'm gonna need a salad, that's how annoyed I am. Floors like this take away from so much of the good luck we've had already. At least, uh, yeah, okay, that makes up for it a little bit. This floor kinda sucks. Let's go on a murdering spree. Oh, never mind. Sorry, you guys are spared. No? Uh-oh. Don't let the ghost get me. No! Ooh, murder balls. Give me ladder. Give me... Give me... Give me ladder? Nope. Murder balls just being murder balls. How many hits did those take? Four? That was three. Five? Six? They take so many hits, I didn't even realize. No wonder I hate you so much. Stupid ghosts. Bum ba dum. Okay, I'm really glad there wasn't a large stone block in my path there, because I would have been boned. I don't have a way down, and I would have to reset the floors. That would have been annoying. Also starting to get hungry. Not a good sign. Don't worry, I will eat after this stream. I'm determined now. Give me a ladder, you stupid murder ball. Oh, there's a coal sack. Starting to go through lots of energy, though. It's going to be like, the further I get down to mine, the slower progress is going to be, really. So, yeah. Once I can start making bombs, it'll speed up again a little bit, but I'm going to run out of iron, too, at some point. Oh, a bomb. A single bomb. 
Uh, I'm going to wait and use this one somewhere where there's a good cluster of rocks. Otherwise, it's a waste. Floor 69. Let's hear your best immature jokes in the chat. Mods, get ready. Enjoy. My present to you. Like, I could hit floor 70. I don't know if I'm even going to hit floor 75. Maybe, but maybe not. It'd be great if I could. But at the rate it's going right now, it's kind of slow. That stupid murder ball wouldn't give me a ladder. But so far, energy's holding up. I'm not having any issues running out of energy. Giggity. Once I hit floor 80, the rocks are going to be even slower to smash, which is where bombs are going to come in handy. I'm going to try and save this bomb for there. Okay, here's floor 70. Uh, the worst slingshot. Well, better slingshot, but still don't want it. Oh, and these guys. I forgot about these lads. Eh, let's just blow them up. Oh, it didn't even blow them up. What kind of stupid bomb is that? Okay, you guys just group up. Group picture. Group murder. Now, give me a ladder. The obsidian edge also would be good if you can get it. I think it's floor 90. I think that's the next sword I want. Weapon, whatever. Journal updated. I get something. Can't remember what. Energy's dwindling. Also, we're going to take a salad. Still upset you smashed the crystal? Well, so is the game, apparently. Wouldn't give me that ladder. Oh, I heard a ladder. I like that sound. That's a good sound to hear. Uh, okay, let's just keep on trucking. Let's go to the left this time. Left is lucky. Lucky left. Wowie. Oh, here we go. Ladder already. Nice. Don't you throw your bone at me. Aha. Getting lucky again. Let's see if we can do it again. Ken Tan, $2. Thank you very much. So happy to be able to actually watch this live. Thank you very much, Ken Tan. Two dollary dues. Aha, 75. Ooh, can we do one more floor? One more elevator? Maybe. Probably not. Is Skeleton Bro here going to let me do it? Give me a ladder. Well, we're going to push toward it at least. At the very worst, we can get some uh, resources along the way. Grandpa! Oh, new sponsor. Yeah. Grandpa is my newest, favoriteest person ever. Love the name. Thank you, Grandpa. You're my newest, favoriteest person ever. You now get the green text, the mumps head icon, my undying love, my hand in marriage, a roll in Discord if you want it. Sponsor only giveaways and a strawberry. Thank you very much. Okay, I need this floor to go by quick. Like, real quick. I'm at least going to stick to smashing only iron for now. That way at least I'll get iron. And I can use that to make bombs if my level ever gets high enough. Which it may or may not. Lovely Valkyrie, thank you very much. $10. Uh, super late to the party, but first super chat. Lots of love from the blandest part of Ohio. Thank you very much. Lovely Valkyrie, $10. Much appreciate that. I'm sure Ohio is perfectly nice. Oh, yeah. Maybe some of the uh, Manitobians in the chat. Can you attest to that? They're pretty, pretty similar from what I understand. Ten fifty. Well, I don't think we're going to hit floor 80 today, which is kind of disappointing. If we had hit our proper progress yesterday, we wouldn't have this problem. But that just didn't work out for me, now did it. This floor's kind of a buzzkill. I'm not wasting any more energy on this floor. I'm out. Leave the mine. 
Well, it was still a pretty good day overall. I might need to bring one more forageable thing tomorrow, but that's okay. I'll deal with it then. I'm gonna drink some water. That was good progress. I'm from Ohio as well, RPG addict. A few Ohioans. I don't know what you're called. Ohioans? Ohios? Something something. DF equals PewDiePie. Well, not by my math, but you never know. Sold, 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 sold. Gotta keep that for items. Getting back up there in the rock department though. Not too bad. Anything else I want to deal with? Nope. Going to bed. Omni Geode can go right back where I left it. Whatever. It's coming with me. Combat. We can make a roots platter, extra HP. And 760 gold. Can I stream on Twitch? I can, I just don't. Maybe one day. Dual stream. Oh, Hideans. Okay, I gotta remember to bring other forageables with me today. That is important to me. My mining seal still didn't level up from all that, did it? Mining's only level 2 and I'm almost at floor 80. What kind of garbage is this? I gotta start smashing the right rocks. It really does make a difference what rocks you smash. Quite a difference. Starting to lose my focus. Could be worse though. I could be Linus up there. Gonna have to start diving into some of the backup resources pretty soon. Let's take that. That should be good. The Omni Geode sells for zero. For those of you wondering why I'm not selling it, that is why. Okay, today might be a good luck day. I'm gonna assume it is by that start. Ladder? Ladder? Yeah, okay, I think it's a good luck day. So luck is on our side today. I'm gonna smash a diamond just because it's valuable. A billion swings later, thank you for your contribution, diamond. Because that way I can sell that. And then down the road, if I do need more energy, I can go to the saloon. Get three salads for the price of one diamond. That's 330 energy. Ooh, I'm liking this day. Look at all the crystals, too. This worked out really good the way it spawned. More crystals, not a lot of rocks. New sponsor, Laura Tomoko Kolo. Kolo? Kohler. Laura Tomoko Kohler. Thank you very much for joining the Sponsor Club. You're my newest, favoriteest person ever. You now get the green text, the mom's head icon. Oh, my hand in marriage, my yeah. undying love. Uh, Discord only uh, roll if you want it. Sponsor only giveaways and probably something I forgot about. A strawberry. Thank you. Let's show those sponsors some love in the chat. Like I always say, sponsors help me out in ways they'll probably never quite understand. Sponsors are awesome, truly. Got 58 coals. Getting up there in iron, too. I should focus on the iron, really. Because if I can ever get a chance to make those bombs, that would be just thrilling. Suddenly, I don't feel so lucky on this floor. Do you have my ladder? Can I make a ladder out of your bones? I would find that acceptable. Almost floor 80. Almost. At that point, we start finding gold. We can start finding the mushroom floor, too. See where it's hiding out. Almost there. Just over 40 floors left. I was about to use a ladder, but this floor isn't too bad. Then floor 81 isn't too bad. 80 is just an elevator, so we'll be okay there. The bass is a big help. Salad will be huge. Look at all that energy. Boom. Back into the green zone. Strawberries! Strawberries for everyone. Whoops. Moment of silence for our fallen comrades. Oh, you're stuck in there anyway. He can hit me, but I can't hit him. This isn't fair. He's hacking. 
wall hacks. No wonder you died, cheater. Probably lynched by an angry mob for cheating. Here we go, 80. Firewalker boots. I think 90 is the obsidian edge sword that really helps me out. Because now things are going to start getting really tough. New sponsor, Kisa Ichiba. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Thank you, my newest, favoriteest person ever. You also get the green text, the bump set icon, my undying love, my hand in marriage. Uh, Discord only, sponsor only giveaways. Uh, roll in Discord if you want it. And a strawberry. Thank you. More love for new sponsors. And this is where things are going to start to do lots of damage to me too, so I got to be careful. Especially with lots of red bats coming in. This is not super favorable for me. But I'm already into the red slimes, the gold, all the good stuff. Give me ladder, give me ladder, give me ladder, give me ladder. I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful with my combat. You know, let's eat a few things, just heal right up again. I'll eat a salad too. Still early in the day. Die, 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 die. Wow, so many bats. I'm going to get so much combat experience, but I really don't need it. It's not going to mean much for me. So I want to donate me a galaxy sword right now. That would be cool. Save me a lot of time and trouble with those idiots. Okay back on track hitting level 90 today would be really cool but that's going to be a bit of a tall order for me because progress is slowing down 90 would give me the obsidian edge though and that would be good for combat the faster i kill things the less damage i take i can make a little bomb let's do a little bomb right now No ladder. It's playing hard to get. Uh, Let's move down here and kill these things. I got more copper there. I can make another bomb if I get that stuff. Gotta start being a little more methodical with these floors now. Oh, never mind. I'm out. And bye. That was handy. So far, I've honestly been getting really lucky with the luck. The day-to-day -day luck. Because I'm finding these floors pretty easy. Second dwarf skull I found. Not going to bother with the gold because, well, I don't need it. Not going to do any good for me. 85. Uh, whoops. On this one, you probably could just say go up and down. Do the same thing I was doing in Gleaner Heights. Take the elevator up, come back down. Keep redoing the floor until it spawns a ladder that is favorable for you. My health is getting low. Let's keep an eye on that, shall we? Uh, Arcade Castle Podcast, a long one. These mines are riddled with Pam's victims. It looks like she ate an entire army. So here is some money you can eat. So you can eat stuff, DF. Also, the Oregon Trail trade gar Oregon Trail card game sucks. Had leftover characters. Thank you very much, Arcade Castle Podcast. Thank you. And thank you for the helpful information. I have too much energy right now. Oh, I gotta use up some of this yeah. energy. Smash some rocks. Oh, there it is. Oh, handy. Excellent. Okay. Let's deal with the enemies first, because they hurt. Ow. Stop hitting me. Rude. Okay, we're gonna avoid those and that for now. Oh, here comes the bats too. Okay, really gotta watch health. We're gonna take on the bat one at a time, not with the slimes, because any more hits and I'm gonna be doomed. Ladder, 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 ladder. Nope. So far pretty good though. I'm on floor 87 and it's only the 8th of spring. It's taking me two hours to get here, but I'm here. Okay, here comes the bat coming in nice and slow for me. Oh, cool. I was going to say, hopefully it gives me the ladder, too. Tomorrow i got to bring even more for forageables. A bat is coming toward me very slowly. Oh, there's a ladder already. 
forget everything else. Get out of here, Tin Man. Dodge. See that dodge? Yeah, you did. That was so cool. Quick look for a ladder. There's a mushroom. Oh, there's a ladder too. I was actually going to use one of mine. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to get this idiot out of the way first. Definitely meant to do that with my sword, but the pickaxe works too, apparently. This is the obsidian edge? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Cool. Uh, now that I'm here, let's run back to my chest real quick. <clears throat> I might need more forgeables. If I'm going to push on, I'm going to be going through a lot of health and energy. Give me these. And let's take these. Let's eat this right now. And we'll eat one of these right now. There we go. So 30 to 45 damage. Big damage. 90. 91. Also potential of the mushroom floor here. Has been for the last 10 floors, but I didn't bring it up. Because I'm fancy like that. I don't know if we're going to... 95 might be a tall order. We might be just shy and I'd be really annoyed at that point. But we're going to go for it. The sooner we make it, the better. Also, if mining could start leveling up, that would also make my proficiency better. I would use a lot less energy for all this crap. Pretty sure the number that was thrown out for me to beat was the 20th of spring for floor 120, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to beat that. Short of something going cataclysmically wrong, I'm on a pretty good pace right now. Okay, let's go kill this slime. Mistimed that. Bad slime. He dead. The Grey Rocks still only go down to two hits, which is interesting. I know I can run right to the end of this floor, so let's do just that. And we're going to top up a little bit. Nah, let's not do it just yet. We still got lots of health. We just got to pass the slime. Wonk. And this guy. One hit kill. Kapow. Oh, ladder. Anything else here we got to be worried about? The Tin Man goes down easy because no knockback. Oh. How thoughtful of him. Mm, this one is pretty big and annoying. Well, there we are. Floor 95. Do we want to push on? Uh, we got six hours to go down five floors. Yeah, we can go for it at least. Why not? We're having pretty good luck today, clearly, so let's try and utilize it. It'd be a waste not to do it. A big waste. And so far, we're pretty lucky. Infested floor. Okay, good thing I brought more forgeables for healing, mostly. Let's start with the most problematic of the bunch. Oh, the fireball bounced. I was like, what's down here shooting fireballs at me? I forgot they bounce off walls. Let's heal up a little bit. There's going to be so many enemies here. i got to be sure to do these carefully. Stay away from the things that are ranged. Get the slimes where I want them. Oh, that's a fast bat. Oops. Carefully, don't want to take damage. Thought that slime was going to hit me. That's an energy item, so we're going to eat that real quick. A little bit of healing, too. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, these guys are pinned against the wall, so they should be pretty easy. Dead. Okay, what else we got left? Pretty straightforward. This guy be a one-shot. They always are. Oh, and a big bomb. Nice. I'll probably unlock the big bombs right as I get to floor 120 with my luck. Which would be just wonderful. Hmm. Uh oh. That was close. I tend to miss time the slimes a lot. I swing at way wrong time. Okay, I got three floors to get down. Not a lot of time to do it. I'm kind of nervous about that again. Two floors to go. Uh, one floor to go. I'm less nervous about it now. But this is that stupid big floor. So I'm really glad I hit those floors when I did. 
I know this is a two hit. Those gray rocks are always two hit and good for mining experience. Oh, we did it. Floor 100 already. And the star drop. More energy. 270 up to 304. Cool. 20 floors to do. We can almost potentially do it tomorrow. Floor 100. Outstanding. Let's take a gander what we're dealing with. Okay. We're going to leave the mines now. I know there's no way I'm going to hit the next five floors. It really sucks to abandon this kind of luck, but I'm going to. We're going to bring some of this crap with us tomorrow. We're going to sell some of this stuff. Cool. Whoops. I'm paying attention. That's 100, floor 100 on the 8th. Good pace. Good pace. Hopefully I get some phenomenal luck tomorrow. Then I could hit all 20. Yeah, I'm getting super lucky. Super lucky. Really happy about that. I, I figured 15th was kind of like a fair goal to aim for, but I'm doing it. Probably be the 10th. Hit it by the 10th is what it's looking like. Maybe the 9th. Maybe the 11th if I'm really unlucky now. Skylar Miskimin needs more likes and more coffee. Thank you very much, Skylar Miskimin. Thank you. We need more likes and more coffee. Very much so. I could almost just gather rocks with the remainder of my energy for now. Yeah, I'm going to gather a few just in case I need to make a, a way down. Because the field is a great place for gathering rocks. A geode? No way. Haven't found any of those along the way. Here's what I think of geodes. I also have way too much energy. I kind of did that inefficiently. But I didn't expect to find those floors so quick. These things are just going to happen sometimes. 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. You guys can count with me if you want. 81. Oh, sorry. 83, 84, 85. I can count. 86, 87, 88, 89. I'm like miscounting. I can't even count properly anymore. Do I play Diablo? I do not. I played it uh, I played it here and there. A month or two back, I did get into it a little bit again. 99, good enough. So one salad left. I'm going to have to bring some more forageable items. Level 3 mining. Still no bombs. Level 4 combat. Still no bombs. I want bombs. There you guys go. Just started counting right now from what I see in the chat. All right. Well, we got one bomb. We got tons of iron. We can make, I think it's four to one. So we can make uh, almost 20 bombs, which would be huge. Well, if we're really lucky, we'll do it today. We'll see how this goes. I should have checked my luck again, but I'm almost, I'd rather not know. Probably better off not knowing at all. Okay, way to bring some more of these delicious fish. Because I'm going to eat a few pretty much right away and clear up some room. Floor 100, moving down. Okay, we're going to stick to gray rocks for now because I know they break super easy. Actually, that's a really good spot for a bomb with that cluster of rocks. Uh, we're going to have to break away in there, though, anyway. There's a rock in front of me I didn't even see. It's like, why aren't I moving? No ladder. Okay, today might not be a really great day. Look at all the rocks I get. Extra 39 rocks just for that. Capital Brian, $20. Thank you very much, Capital Brian. Very generous. Let's show some, show some love for Capital Brian in the chat. Here's some bombs for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wish those were real bombs. I would definitely love those. Because bombs would make this a lot easier. Wow, I might have terrible luck today. Figures. I'll get down like five floors today. Things will be derailed nicely. I was eyeballing this rock earlier, this gray one. Oh, oh, it was yeah. the right one, too. Damn it. I should have beelined for it. You just get that sense, you know? Well, let's start using up some of this energy. 
clear up a little bit of room in my muddled inventory. A glow ring would be handy? Yeah, it really would. Most of the floors are brighter down here, though. And doing this, we should pass the mushroom floor, so we'll see where that's at. That'll be neat. Purple mushrooms will top up my uh, energy needs all the way, too. Yeah, I don't think today's a super good luck day, so it's probably going to be five, ten floors if I'm lucky, but probably five, honestly. Kira donated a dollar twenty, almost eight hundred people watching. This is awesome. Can we get eight hundred likes? Also, hi DF, hi Kira. Thank you, generous and supportive as always. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Dead. Yeah, it's a bad luck day for sure. Bombs can negate the bad luck day, make up for it, and so can stone staircases. This is also a pretty big floor, so I'm not really thrilled about it. But we'll go kill this guy. Hopefully he'll give me a ladder. He did not. Um, okay. Let's smash some gold. We need some more mining experience, if anything. Gray rocks, two hits. Give me something. Give me bomb. Bomb. I didn't think that would take that many hits. Come on, come on. I think the gray rocks also often give you stones too. I don't think these other ones really do very much. Hmm. Well, red rocks it is. I know red rocks, I think, give you good experience. I think they do. Even at this point, I'd be happy with five floors a day. That would still be fine pacing for me. It's just so slow. Clearly the worst kind of luck today. Not at all what I want. Sinister Snake, 577. How was your day? Thank you very much, Sinister Snake. It was good. It's still very good. Thank you very much. Okay, we gotta eat a little bit of something for some energy. Uh, we'll leave it at that for now. Easy to top up energy. Health is always alarming when it gets low. Energy I can catch. Health is harder to catch. Oh, slowest floor ever. It's going to be the last rock I break, isn't it? I want my luck from the last day. Eat the chub. Eat the chub. I need a good mushroom floor full of purple mushrooms. Wow, so long. It's always the last rock you mine. It's going to be now, now that I'm, you know, hit floor 100. The game's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't need to make progress. You can just crash and burn. Told myself initially, go upwards. Yeah, today is probably the worst luck day. Three floors. Day's half gone. Two floors. I guess I get time for this. I mean, why not? Still nothing. There it is. About time. Okay, this floor looks like a pretty big nightmare, but I'm going to try and hack my way through it. Because I don't have to use up any energy to do this. I just got to be careful about my health. Okay, you get onto the... Nope, never mind. Lots of gold, though. Aha! It worked. Now, will you give me a ladder, please? I wonder what the drop rate is of monsters versus rocks. I wonder if there's any information on that. Uh, let's just smash a few of these smaller rocks real quick. Uh, Hattie Gadben, 279, thank you very much. What's the best way to get a prismatic shard? Uh, I would say Skull Cavern. Mining in Skull Cavern, you'll find them occasionally from Iridium nodes. And there is a specific node for them, somewhat, but uh, Skull Cavern is probably your best bet. Okay, another way here. 
Let's... Do we need more forgeable items? We do. Let's go gather more forgeable items. We can get floor 110 today for sure. I'm confident of that. But let's just let's just be sure we're going to do this right. Oops. Let's eat a few of the singles right now. Just to clear up some room as much as anything. And we're going to bring the five of those. That should be enough for... That should be enough. I really hope it is. I'm going to bring one more just to be safe. If I find a mushroom floor, a couple purple mushrooms will really put me over the top. Okay. I've got quite a bit of time. I just need to get really lucky with the drops. So far, so good. Oh, perfect. I like where this is going. Break the gray rocks, break the slimes. Uh, we've got lots of bats coming in. Hopefully they'll give me the ladder though. Come on in. Uh, I guess we're just going to wait for bats on this floor. Since we got so many, I'm sure one of them will give me a ladder. I just kind of got to get them to line up nicely. Good enough. Oh, they spread out after that. Come on in, bats. Bring it in. No? Alright, well, this is a big floor. Let's ladder it out of here. Forget this floor. Kind of a waste, but... I don't like that floor. Oh, I thought it was a mushroom level for a sec. It's not. It would have green lights if it was. And that mushroom doesn't give me any health or energy. It poisons me. It is not bad to sell. You can get some gold for those for sure. But I don't care about gold on this run. Haha. <laughs> One more floor. We're at 110, which probably going to be awkward timing, but I'm not going to push for one more floor today. I'll just finish it tomorrow. It's going to be tomorrow, whatever the case. So the 10th of spring, that'll be it. Are the Grey Rocks the only ones that have ladders? No. But there are only two hits to break. What do we get? Boots? Yeah, we get the better defense boots, which is handy. Less damage. Alright, what do you got? 111? One, one uh, should we push for it? No, I'm just going to call it for tomorrow. Let's just do it tomorrow. No need to risk it. I would just do progress. I don't need to unmake progress. We'll make a bunch of four dribbles tomorrow. We'll go all in. We'll just get right to the bottom. Curious about something now. Oh, she's not even open. Uh, let's go buy some salad, though, while we're heading back early. We'll salad our way to the bottom. And then if mining would level up and I could make bombs, that would be even quicker. I love exploding kittens. It's so fun. I don't know what we're talking about, but it does sound fun. We can explode kittens together. Salad me, moron. I need to drop something. 11 salads. Perfect. That should do me. Bedtime. So we have tons of energy. We're just going to get all the way down. We're even going to check our luck tomorrow. Because we can. How about that? I'm so confident that I don't even need to pick forgeables anymore. I'm beyond all that. I'll even pet the dog. I'll be nice for once. <clears throat> okay. Fortune teller. 
Neutral luck. I'll, I can live with neutral luck. Not too much, not too little. Neutral. Oh, I'm going to sell some of this stuff too while we're here. No sense having it clutter up my stuff. Still mining didn't level up. I'm surprised by that. I got so far down the mines, just not leveling. I guess because I'm not hitting all the ore, which gets you experience. Arcade Castle Podcast, $2. 11 salads, sir. Not 12. Nor 11. Nor 10, but 11. 11. Exactly 11. I vote for sponsor only P.O. Box. Interesting. Hmm. Now the wheels are turning. That's interesting. I'll consider that. I'll think about that. That's interesting. All right, here we go. Floor 110 to 120. In record time. We got neutral luck. Uh, look at all the copper. I'm going to smash this for little bombs. Because the other ones just don't exist anymore. Oh, there's a green light. This might actually be the mushroom floor. In fact, I think it is. So let's go find some mushrooms. Uh, I need purple mushrooms though, not these kind. These are the wrong variety of mushrooms, game. Well, whatever. No purple mushrooms is not the end of the world. Two little bombs. Eh. The bats die so much quicker with this sword. 808 watching, 808. Magical number. Actually, let's go smash this. I'm going to set a bomb right here somewhere. Aha! Nine floors left. The countdown is on. Really wish it was good luck, though. I can fly through these last floors. Also, another thing I could have done is just waited at Robin today until she opened and bought the rocks I need to make ladders, but I didn't. We'll do this the old-fashioned way. Smash our way downwards. Very slowly. What if I could just find some copper? Copper would work. Copper, I could make those little bombs. So for anyone doing this, gather more copper at the beginning than I did, because you can make bombs. Apparently you don't get your mining skill leveled up very quickly at all doing this. So no big bombs for you. You're going to be stuck with the little itty bitty bombs. Which is fine. They'll work just fine, but you gotta have copper. You run past copper very quick. Almost there. Getting excited now. Rock, rock, rock. Oh, what's that one? Okay, this floor isn't huge. This is the one that's shaped like a star if you zoom all the way out. Fun fact. It looks like a star. Ah, there we go. 114. We're getting close. That this might be a second mushroom level for a sec. And second mushroom levels do exist. Here we go. 15. Getting lucky now. Ow. Stop shooting me with your laser beam. Thank you. All right, well, might as well eat some of this stuff we're not going to need too much of. Five floors left. Five floors left. We got all day to do it. Smash, smash, smash. I want more bombs. This would be so much quicker with bombs. Almost there. Five floors left. Four floors left. Ooh, lots of the easy rocks. Three floors left. All right. Getting lucky lucky. Don't get cocky. I always do. I got this. Watch your slime dodge every one of my attacks and murder me. Don't pick that up. That's bad for you. No wasting time with dwarf scrolls. That ancient language can wait. The only thing that allows me to do is purchase stuff from the dwarf. And I don't even like the dwarf. Uh, okay. Well, we're on this floor now. Just gonna kill things. Hopefully... Oh, there's a ladder right there. 
One more floor, ladies and gentlemen. One more floor. We're almost there. And this is an easy floor. It's small. We're so close. I think it's going to be this rock. I was wrong. Man, these last 10 floors are easy. I expected a lot more... A lot more... Struggle. The struggle is real. I haven't even seen any of those creatures that turn into rocks. Or that, like, pretend to be rocks. That's weird. So close. Ah, there it is. Floor 120. Floor 120. We did it. 120. Took 2 hours and 30 minutes. And 1.10pm on the 10th of spring. 1.10pm on the 10th of spring. We did it. Congratulations, everyone. We did it. Well, now what? Circles, victory laps. We'll do some victory laps. Will I run around the chest? Victory laps. I'll wait for chat to catch up. We did it. It was 1.10 p.m. 1.10 p.m. on the 10th of spring. That's the number to beat for everyone currently. I don't know if anyone's done it faster. They very well might have, but that's what I did. No, so that's where I'm setting the bar for myself. Awesome. Thank you, everyone, for joining me on this little experiment. One of the many. We did it, Reddit. We did it. Two hours and 30 minutes. Yeah, that's about. I figured it would take two hours, so two hours and 30 minutes ain't bad at all. Plus, we got the skeleton key. Forever remembered. Awesome. Well, that was fun. That was fun. I'm very hungry now. I could use a coffee and some food for sure. Do you ever going to play Subnautica again? Uh, I will at some point. Whether or not it's on stream, I'm not sure yet. With the new monitor, I'm sure it would look good. Yay, we can sleep. Yeah, go to bed, everyone. We did it. We did it. Do you have 666 likes? Perfect. Well, that was that. Awesome. Thanks, everyone, for joining me on that adventure. Well, that's going to be it for this. I accomplished my goal for once. So thanks, everyone, for stopping by. Thanks to the sponsors, donations, support, all the usual good stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, going to be putting out some videos through the next few days, so stay tuned for those. Probably another stream towards the weekend and probably again on the weekend. Blah, blah, blah. So again, hope you guys like this. Oh, thanks for watching. Yeah. Tracy S, $15. Thank you very much. Tracy S, $15. I didn't miss it. You did it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys. Goodbye.